welcome back to CyberX Innovations founded by Trust Chikandi Mangani. Today we will discuss the basic concepts of vulnerability management. Vulnerability management is a continuous, proactive, and often automated process that keeps your computer systems, networks, and enterprise applications safe from cyber attacks and data breaches. Vulnerability management is the ongoing process of identifying, assessing, prioritizing, and mitigating security vulnerabilities within an organization's IT infrastructure. It is a crucial component of cybersecurity and is essential for maintaining the security and integrity of digital assets. How Vulnerability Management Works Threat and Vulnerability Management uses a variety of tools and solutions to prevent and address cyber threats. An effective vulnerability management program typically includes the following components. Asset Discovery and Inventory IT is responsible for tracking and maintaining records of all devices, software, servers, and more across the company's digital environment, but this can be extremely complex since many organizations have thousands of assets across multiple locations. That's why IT professionals turn to asset inventory management systems, which help provide visibility into what assets a company has, where they're located, and how they're being used. Vulnerability Scanners Vulnerability scanners usually work by conducting a series of tests against systems and networks, looking for common weaknesses or flaws. These tests can include attempting to exploit known vulnerabilities, guessing default passwords or user accounts, or simply trying to gain access to restricted areas. Patch Management Patch management software is a tool that helps organizations keep their computer systems up to date with the latest security patches. Most patch management solutions will automatically check for updates and prompt the user when new ones are available. Some patch management systems also allow for deployment of patches across multiple computers in an organization, making it easier to keep large fleets of machines secure. Configuration Management Security Configuration Management SCM, software helps to ensure that devices are configured in a secure manner, that changes to device security settings are tracked and approved, and that systems are compliant with security policies. Many SCM tools include features that allow organizations to scan devices and networks for vulnerabilities, track remediation actions, and generate reports on security policy compliance. Security Incident and Event Management SEAM. SEAM software consolidates an organization's security information and events in real time. SEAM solutions are designed to give organizations visibility into everything that's happening across their entire digital estate, including IT infrastructure. This includes monitoring network traffic, identifying devices that are trying to connect to internal systems, keeping track of user activity, and more. Penetration Testing Penetration testing software is designed to help IT professionals find and exploit vulnerabilities in computer systems. Typically, Penetration testing software provides a graphical user interface, GUI, that makes it easy to launch attacks and see the results. Some products also offer automation features to help speed up the testing process. By simulating attacks, testers can identify weak spots in systems that could be exploited by real-world attackers. Threat Intelligence Threat protection software provides organizations with the ability to track, monitor, analyze, and prioritize potential threats to better protect themselves. By collecting data from a variety of sources such as exploit databases and security advisories these solutions help companies identify trends and patterns that could indicate a future security breach or attack. Remediation Vulnerabilities Remediation involves prioritizing vulnerabilities, identifying appropriate next steps, and generating remediation tickets so that IT teams can execute on them. Finally, remediation tracking is an important tool for ensuring that the vulnerability or misconfiguration is properly addressed. Vulnerability Management Lifecycle the vulnerability management life cycle has six key phases. Organizations looking to implement or improve their vulnerability management program can follow these steps. Phase 1, Discovery. Create a full asset inventory across your organization's network. Develop a baseline for your security program by identifying vulnerabilities on an automated schedule so you can stay ahead of threats to company information. Phase 2, Prioritization of Assets. Assign a value to each asset group that is reflective of its criticality. This will help you understand which groups need more attention and will help streamline your decision-making process when faced with allocating resources. Phase 3, Assessment. The third part of the vulnerability management lifestyle is assessing your assets to understand the risk profile of each one. This allows you to determine which risks to eliminate first based on a variety of factors, including its criticality and vulnerability threat levels as well as classification. Phase 4, Reporting. Next, determine the various levels of risk associated with each asset based on your assessment results. Then, document your security plan and report known vulnerabilities. Phase 5, Remediation. Now that you know which vulnerabilities are the most pressing for your business, it's time to fix them, starting with those that pose the highest risks. Phase 6, Verification and Monitoring. The final phase of the vulnerability management process includes using regular audits and process follow-up to ensure that threats have been eliminated. 
it's important to note that vulnerabilities can be classified by their severity, impact, and likelihood of exploitation. Organizations should prioritize their vulnerability management efforts based on the criticality of the vulnerabilities and the potential harm they could cause. This prioritization allows them to allocate resources effectively and address the most pressing security concerns first. There are various types of vulnerabilities that organizations must be aware of and manage. Firstly software vulnerabilities. Operating system vulnerabilities, weaknesses or flaws in the underlying operating system, example Windows, Linux, Mac OS, that can be exploited by attackers to gain unauthorized access or control. Application vulnerabilities, weaknesses in specific software applications, example web browsers, email clients, productivity software, that can be exploited for malicious purposes. Firmware vulnerabilities, vulnerabilities in the firmware of hardware devices such as routers, switches, and IoT devices. Secondly network vulnerabilities. Network misconfigurations, errors or misconfigurations in network devices or services that may create security weaknesses, such as open ports or unauthorized access points. Weak authentication and passwords, the use of weak or default passwords, as well as poor authentication mechanisms, can make networks susceptible to unauthorized access. Unpatched or outdated systems, failure to update and patch network devices can lead to vulnerabilities that attackers can exploit. Weak authentication and passwords, the use of weak or default passwords, as well as poor authentication mechanisms, can make networks susceptible to unauthorized access. Unpatched or outdated systems, failure to update and patch network devices can lead to vulnerabilities that attackers can exploit. Finally human-related vulnerabilities. Social engineering, attackers may exploit human vulnerabilities by tricking employees into revealing sensitive information, clicking on malicious links, or performing actions that compromise security. Insider threats, employees or insiders with malicious intent can pose a significant security risk if they abuse their access privileges. Lack of security awareness, employees who are not adequately trained in security best practices can inadvertently introduce vulnerabilities through their actions. If you have any questions, comments, or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Your feedback is essential to us. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated with our latest cybersecurity insights and best practices. Remember, in the ever-evolving landscape of cybersecurity, staying vigilant and proactive is key to protecting your digital assets. Stay safe, stay secure, and keep managing.